Hello everyone and welcome to another session of SQL Query Interview Questions. In today's video, we are going to take a look at a scenario in which we have a concatenated string, so concatenated with some kind of delimiter as a column in our database table. So let's take a look at this example table and this is the employee table. If we just run a SQL select query on this table, we'll see that this has got a column called name and it has values which are in the form of last name, then there's a comma and then you have the first name. So this has the last name concatenated with the first name and the delimiter used in our case is a comma. Now what we want to do is we want to extract the last name and the first name from this string. So there are a couple of ways in which we can go about doing this task. So let's get started. The first thing that we are going to do is explore a function which is known as the char index function. What this function does is it finds out the position of the delimiter in this concatenated string. So let's use that function and see what is the output we are getting in terms of our data. So just start with writing a simple select statement. So select and now we are going to use a function which we mentioned earlier, the char index function. And as soon as we start typing it, it would start, SQL Server would start suggesting that function. And we can then see the format that the function expects. So the first thing that it expects is the search expression. Now the search expression is going to be the delimiter in our case because we are trying to find the position of the delimiter. So let's give it within single quotes. So a comma is going to be a search expression and then the second parameter to be passed to this function is the expression to be searched. The expression to be searched is going to be a column name which is a name. All right and just close the brackets and let's select this from our table which is the DBO employee table. Now let's just execute this query and see what we've got. Let's select the name as well so that we can cross check whether the position has been correctly computed by this function or not. So now let's just execute this query and we can see that the position for the delimiter which is comma has been found correctly. So if you check the first example, uh, Ovens is five characters and the sixth position has the comma. So it has found out the position of the comma correctly. So now we can work with this delimiter uh, position and try to extract the last name and the first name. So now let's start with extracting the first part before the delimiter which is going to be our last name. So how can we do that? Uh, we can use a substring function okay and start from the very first character and give the char index of the comma that we have just found as the last character and then extract that part of the string as the last name uh, since we are only extracting two parts of the string here maybe an easier function to use could be the left function so i'm going to use the left function now left function is very simple you just put the left function over here and then you need to uh, define the column on which you want to perform the left operation so that is going to be name in our case and then we are giving it the position of the comma so it is going to basically extract number of characters uh, starting from the very left that is from the very beginning till the occurrence of the comma which is the delimiter in our case now let's just execute this query and find out if we are getting the right extract as the last name so this is what it has extracted uh, as we can see that the comma has been included with the extracted string now we do not want the comma in this case we so what we really wanted is just the number of characters just before the comma so what we can do now is we can just put a minus one so that we can exclude the comma and then take this, give it a name as last name so that it has a proper meaningful name and now execute this query. Now, if you execute this query, you will see that the last name has been correctly extracted from this concatenated name string. Now, the second part for us to do is to extract the first name as well. So let's take this down. And now, because we're going to extract from the end of the string, we can use the function that is opposite to the left function, which is going to be the right function. So let's use right 
and again the string on which we are uh, going to perform this extraction is the column name and now we have to define how many characters we want to extract so we want to extract till the comma we know the uh, position of the comma that is in terms or relative to the starting position of the string so how can we find out the number of characters that remain till the end of the string starting from the comma to find out the remaining number of characters what we can do is find out the length of the whole string okay and then subtract the number of characters till the comma so that would give us the remaining number of characters till the end of this string so now to find out the length of the whole string we have another function which is the length function so simply use the length function it is simply len and pass it the column name of name so this is going to compute the length of this whole string once we have the length of the whole string what we're going to do is simply subtract the char index okay this computation from here which is going to give us the position of the comma all right so now what we would be left with would be everything after the comma till the end of the string so i'm just going to use the char index function once again and subtract that those number of characters from the total length of my string okay so now i have used my write function i'm uh, putting it on the name column i have subtracted the or i have computed the length of the column subtracted the position of the comma and i need to use another parenthesis to close this and this would be my first name right and now let's just execute this command okay so what we are missing here is just a comma to separate between these two values and just put it right there and now execute and you would see that we have successfully extracted the last name and the first name from the concatenated string in a column which was name.